Yes! Here we go. The special part of this podcast. We weren't able to do this in a few couple weeks. Like I said, we had guests. We're trying to be good dudes. We don't want to eat up their projects. What we got going on. I'm trying to catch up. We're catching up on the news. But for this week, we ain't able to do this. So we had to pick the... It was so many people to pick from. But in the last few weeks, we had to pick the creme de la creme. The people who emphatically deserves a tap on the shoulder. To say, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. You're doing too much. We ain't trying to bully you. We just need you to know. You need to sit your ass down. All right. Like I said, sit your ass down. I alluded to it earlier. Here we go. Number one, with a bullet this week's. Sit your ass down. It's a little late. It's a couple weeks late, but it still holds the same weight. Mr. J.R. Smith. Sit your ass down. Where nigga. do I start? Sit, sit, sit your ass all the way down, nigga. All right. J.R. Smith is not a stranger to sit your ass down. And don't get up. Sit down, nigga. The, he's, like, out of this whole year. No, no. Since the NBA playoffs. Oh, my God. Year. Before that. Before that. No, no. I'm talking about when he ran. Oh, my court, God. LeBron and the, the whole Cavaliers is confused. Yes. Cavaliers. Couple of fucking. Even that, couple of Warriors. So, like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> so, why is J.R. Smith here? Oh, God, he's going to get sit your ass down a year. Because I got to sit back and I got to think. Sit your ass down, nigga. J.R. Smith. Yeah, fuck it. Here's the reason why he's here this week. Wants a trade from the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, let, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is going to be tough. Let me get this straight. Not that tough. J.R. Smith, tough. who, A, let's go back in the year 2006. Shirtless J.R. Smith. Chest naked, as I call him. Shout out to G. Moody. Chest naked. Chest naked. That's funny. He couldn't find his shirt. He's celebrating. He's doing all this stuff. Then J.R. Smith goes two full years. And then now, seven games into the season. Uh, all right, maybe a little bit more. Ten. Ten. It's November 10th as we're recording this. November 10th, 2018, A.D., Year of Our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the season ain't even start yet. Y'all fired Ty Lu, and now he wants to trade. Just like I said with Ty Lu earlier in this podcast, I wonder what changed. And you want to trade. Ty... T- uh, <clears throat> JR, what team would you like to go to? I believe it's the Lakers. Because you want to be the golden goose. Look, on paper, if you believed in yourself, y'all have a good team. It's you, Kevin Love, uh, Larry Nash Jr., Rodney Hood, in a very vacant East. Outside of the 76ers, outside of Boston, the East is wide open. We know that. You know that. But you want to trade. You started all this shit with the Supreme Tattoo. Show it up. You the, you the fucking mouthpiece of the Cleveland Cavaliers. But you are requesting a trade. That is a man that I'm seeing right now. And the reason you're getting to sit your ass down because you are... On paper, statistically, you are on a good team. You just don't want to work. You want to hit your wagon to LeBron or better or greater. Anyone in the LeBron stratosphere? Jr. can get. He can get to the LeBron stratosphere. No, but that's what I'm saying. You, you, Jr. don't want to work. Jr. doesn't want to work. Will LeBron put this team together? 
and he left. You should have looked around the room. All right, fuck it. Let's go ahead and do this shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. LeBron ain't here. Mm -hmm. We are in the... Mm -hmm. How do I know this? Everyone else did it. I agree. Kimball Walker is on the Hornets. I can't name no one else on the Hornets right now. Kimball Walker is showing his ass. I have said this on this podcast so many times. I am so convinced my beloved Detroit Pistons will make the playoffs. And I will yeah. give you 258,000 reasons why if no one makes the playoffs, Blake Griffin is making the goddamn playoffs. Yeah, the Pistons by, will make the playoffs. They will. They will. Pistons are making the playoffs based on child support, not exactly skill. Le Blake Griffin had to pay two hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars a month. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm still playing. Really? I talked about Boston, Seventy Sixers. They just got Jimmy Butler. Jesus, they're making it. I trust the process. God damn, y'all making the playoffs. Um, but J.R. Smith, for some reason. Y'all 0 and 7. I want to trade. Get the fuck out of here. You have a good team. Larry Ness Jr. And, and, Kevin Love and is looking. Cleveland. What, okay, granted, LeBron was the franchise and he made. Take LeBron out of it. Listen, Cleveland still. Still got a good very team. Very good team. But. It's the JR of it all. So, JR Smith, let me sit your ass down. The next sit your ass down. I want to break this down because this is. I feel. Look, I have. I feel as though I have to say this. This is not a repeat podcast. This is, you didn't fuck up. You didn't hit repeat. This is not a rerun. But the next sit your ass down goes to Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes. No. Yes. Is this my segment? It's hard. Is this my second? It's hard. It's not, I, I, I'm serious. It doesn't sound like a rerun. It sounds like we've been here before. I, Kanye West took it upon himself. I, Hold on, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. So I, I want you to narrow the offense. <laughs> Kanye West. Narrow. Okay. Kanye West said okay. that he's tired of being used and he is distancing himself away from politics to work on music and fashion. You know what? I will hand the floor over to you because I feel if I talk, it's going to sound like a rerun. Stop me if you heard this before, right? I agree. Go on. Here's my thing. Concerning Kanye West. <sighs> you know what pisses me off the most? Yep. Okay, here it is. We have a round He's table of black evangelicals. Oh, you went that route? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Hear he, he, everything I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. We have a round table of black evangelicals who want to talk but are told not to. Mm -hmm. That we would because not have politics known. politics and religion But we'd have known. But see, the... the now you brought up something else. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I did the Kanye of it all. The truth of the matter is, and here it is, and I can prove what I'm going to say, but I don't got that type of time. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say it anyway. It's hard, ain't it? And then we'll pick up on it from the, from the next time you and I meet. Politics and religion has always met together. It had to. I had to because no 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 no, no. no wait, that's wait, wait. why we I, no, I said I wasn't gonna do it I know one influences the other but Kanye no no let me no, no, let uh, me all right, all right all right I'm sorry I'm sorry because it's it's yeah. hard it's it's hard well yeah politics and religion has always fused but you got a round table of evangelicals black evangelicals to meet with the president to either oppose or not or, or not oppose him but here it. And and, and we're not and we're not uh, very hard and we're not allowed to speak, but here it is: we have an African American man who I do agree, to some degree, that he is the voice of a generation. Kanye West, I I I actually can go along with that. That's not why. He's no, no, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm with you. I'm, I'm just with saying you. I actually can go along with that. But at the same time. Is clinically diagnosed as unstable. 
and yep. is allowed to speak uninterrupted to the president of the United States. And that kind of puts a little little t- tang on everything you yeah, say. Tang is the best word yep. I could. Uh, I, it I can't think of a different word to use. It, it kind of gives you a little. I, 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 okay, here it is. But for, you uh, feel for the white people that listen to my friend's show. You a white. Uh, here it is. A man who can be considered crazy. There is we go. Considered to speak uninterrupted by right. the president. Uh, and then evangelicals who may or may not oppose them who have who who have doctorals and can't speak. That is a problem. So here's the problem. And not all of the black evangelicals are so evangelical that they can't speak to political issues. All right, wait. You won't let. Hold on. Hold on I want. I want. I want. Come just, on in. Come I want to dumb on, it on, down. On, come on. I want to dumb on, it down, and I'm gonna get to the heart of the sit your ass down. I lo- I like what you said. Come on. I got no rebuttal. Come on. But I just want to dumb it down. So we got two people in this case, the env- evangelicals. You won't let them speak because what they believe in their heart. Mm-hmm. But and not all they, of them are so religious that, 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 that exactly that they can't what speak they believe in their heart the and what they right. believe in their religion. Right. And this was gonna come out of their mouth. Right. And it can make sense both of them. Either either side. Right. But on the other side, we got a guy who is religious. Who is religious? But clinically diagnosed. But doesn't know what's gonna come out of his mouth. Doesn't know. Gets an audience. That's interesting. Now some of y'all gonna say, "Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did." Well, hold on. He just said this is coming from a Kanye fan, and it's hard. Here's what Graduation I said: Graduation Day was my favorite album. It is hard because he says he's distancing himself because he feels like he's being used. My man, yay! You at least two years late to this shit. You've been using distancing himself from music and politics, and you want to work on music, yay! And I say this as a Kanye West fan. I am. I, I, I am. say this as a Kanye I West am. fan. I am. No way in fuck have you been paying attention to music because the last three albums of yours you have shitted on. You have fucked up Nas in the process. You, Nas. you have fucked up I Tiana like Taylor. You. you have fucked up everyone except Pusha T that you had a problem with. Even Jay-Z. Even no, you know what? I as much as I love Jay Z, no, no. the Jay Z Kanye West fucked up Jay Z. Watch the throne. I've never seen Jay Z work harder than watch the throne because it's it's like he had to listen to what you had to say and filter it. How do I make this shit still hot? This watch the throne album made me more of a Jay Z fan more than Dynasty. Dynasty, like a lot of people talk about Blueprint. Blueprint was the shit. I'm not going to say it wasn't. But Dynasty, when Jay-Z, uh, Rock Left Familiar, Dynasty, mm, 444 was good too. But I was already, at that point, you preaching to the converted. But Dynasty, that was the definitive, go fuck yourself, I will be in the top five of everyone top five that are alive for Jay-Z. But back to Ye. You're distancing yourself from politics to work on music and fashion. Let's go back to the matter of hand. This is what some shit you said. Why did you leave? Why did you leave music? You're not a politician. Everything you said was based on what you thought could be a utopia. Yeah, that works for you, but that doesn't work for everybody else. Like, my world, Sam's world of utopia, will fuck a lot of people over. I'm going to tell you what Kanye thought. I'm going to tell you what he thought. And he thought, honestly, what it is I thought. In the beginning. Uh huh. The only problem with Team Mean, the only issue Kanye had that I didn't have, was because after a while, I gave up. And then was one shot by none he, the President Trump did. Here it is. Here's the reality. You or your listeners may not like concerning President Trump. Mm-hmm. President Trump. We made it an hour without talking politics. It was tough, but we did it. We did? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I know. All right, here we go. President Trump 
really President Trump's policies that has been passed and went through really has not been unbeneficial for the nation. They have not. Mm. No, and I promise. Depending on who you are no, in the situation. No, no, no. I promise you, you can't think of one. Okay. In the nation, I'm talking. I'm not talking about outside of the country. I'm talking about for the United States of America. They have not not been beneficial. None of them. When you think about it, when you blot out everything he has said, which Enough. is the key, but none of them really has not benefited the nation. The you kept the status is, quo, but you didn't help. Is, you didn't hurt. The thing is, he says a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. Here's what Donald Trump does. Trump, Donald Trump says, "Nigga, I'm gonna kill you." That's what he says, but he hasn't That's killed opposite. anybody. Now, killing somebody and then saying I'm gonna kill somebody are both bad. But which one is worse, killing or really doing it? Mm. I see your point. I, I, I still Donald disagree, Trump but I still do see your point. That's what he does. And so, Kanye West's point of view was. He speak. He's just like anybody else. He, hmm. Donald Trump speak as a real person. He's not a politician. Such, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. The only problem with all that is, and, that, and, and that's fine and it's true. But here's the problem: Donald Trump is the president of the United States, which is a Has superpower. They got, got weight, man. And words from a super. It'd be different if Israel said it. No. If no, 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 no point. Israel is not considered a superpower. India is not considered a superpower. No. I see. If China or Russia, us, I see what you're saying. I see Germany, if we say it, we got a little bit more weight. Mm. So, when a superpower, when a leader, rather, I should say, of a superpower speaks, that carries way, way more weight than um, Afghanistan. Mm. Even when he was talking to Kim Jong Un, here's my thing with, with Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un doesn't like the United States. Niggas say Donald Trump was the first president to meet with North Korea. Well, there's a reason for that. There was a security issue with that. Donald, Trump, all the presidents swear to give uh, the uh, Israelites the embassy in Jerusalem, and Donald Trump was the first president to do it. There was a reason for that because first that off, timing, Christianity man. or Judaism is not the only religion in the world. Yeah. And if any other person had done that, given the time that they had served, it would have probably sparked another world war. But that's what I said. Based on religion. That was just and if you go back in history, most wars were started because of religion. So yeah. if you if you say, I'm going to give the Jews um, the embassy that, in the third? that all religions wanted to have in Jerusalem, we probably, see, like here it is. We'd be at war here, right here, now. here it is. People want to praise him for North Korea's meeting with Kim Jong Un. My thing is this: if we got two hundred million, we don't have that. I'm hypothetically speaking. Okay. If we got two hundred million nukes, and Kim Jong Un got ten thousand nukes, the question I got: We had to sit down. We had no, to no, sit down. The question, no, no. We well, yeah, we got to. Yeah. We, we got to have to sit down. We had to sit because down because the question I got is. How many nukes does it take to destroy a nation? Granted, I got a hundred million. You got ten thousand. But how many does it take to destroy a nation? Three. One. Three good ones. Here's what I said. Here, the reason I here's why the number. If you and I got. Now, nigga, here's, not, what, here's why I say here's why I say one. Uh, more than one. Sorry. Shoot. Two or three. Because we tried it with Nagasaki. Nagasaki, Japan. That was overkill. That was overkill. But Japan is still around. No, no, here it is. Here it is. You know what I'm saying? No, no, you said no, no, a nation. No, no, you said a nation. Said a nation. Here it is. So Granted, two, two or three good ones. No, no, here, no, no, here, here, here it is why I say it only it only takes one. This one this, this is the only reason I say it takes one. Mm -hmm. Because even when we just, when we dropped them bombs on Nagasaki, when we dropped them bombs on Nagasaki, people got sick, mm -hmm. people died, we destroyed the country, nation. I, I'm with you. I'm I get you. your point. The land wasn't destroyed, but the people were. But you was able to rebuild. That's my point. Now that's, that's my whole point. Now, now here it is: if I drop one nuke on your country, mm -hmm. 
destroys all your people, and you are able to rebuild. Okay, I still have. You stopped the production, but you still didn't. I I stopped the production, and while y'all are still in, in reproducing stage, I'm still a superpower and got enough nukes to destroy you again. Now here's how. I look so at it this. only take one. Here's how I look at this, and I'm going to say this: this is the most juvenile. Way I can compare this, Shoot. and we almost made it a podcast without talking about politics. I look at nuclear bombs. God, I'm sorry I even say this. Shoot, because it's so juvenile. You go look at me, and you may take another shot, and I you might, should. I might agree with you. Shoot, I look at nuclear bombs we like know, we know each other too well. Uh, <laughs> I look at nuclear bombs like Lauren Hill albums. Well. Lauren Hill only has one good solo album, but it was so powerful that she got twenty years out, twenty plus years. I agree. So I say to you, I agree. That's my point. If if I got one miseducation of Lauren Hill. That is the album. We are talking about that album, right? About all right, because I didn't. I, I just want to make sure you ain't talking about the Fuji's, motherfucker. But all right, all right. No. So if I got one, no, Lauryn Hill album. Nothing is the Fuji's. So nothing is the Fuji. I like Price. I got one. No, I, I, I do. I do. I, I, I like why Look, dude. I like why Clever Prize. It just fucked up how that came out. No. I. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I shit on them. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't mean to. Yeah. But I'm just saying, Lori, we all agree. The miseducation of Lori Hill. Hill. It was. It was the Everybody shit. Everybody has said it. Everybody has said so it. So I say this with a nuclear bomb. And that was back in like 97, 98? Yeah. Okay. So I put. 2000 and she's still here. And Lauren Hill put on the concert to get sold out. Yes, it would. She'll show up three hours and late. Got, and she ain't got to make no new music. She'll show up three hours late, but that's... Niggas, we'll there. wait. We will, we'll wait. But my point is, that album, like a nuclear bomb, that's why I said I compare it like that. No, I'm agreeing with you so far. If I give you one, just one of those. Just one. Like on Nagasaki, you can kind of repair and regroup. But if I give you two or three of those... I said, we done. Shut this shit down. Um, like Chernobyl. No, I not Chernobyl. Chernobyl's a very good. Mm. Chernobyl mm. was not a bomb, mm. but Chernobyl. Mm. Chernobyl was a nuclear incident. Okay, but well, hold on, hold on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Because I got I got to tie this shit back to Kanye West. We both so, we we both did very good in history. I know it's just hard. So it's it, it like no, just so like you know, with Chernobyl. We both did very good in history. When the last motherfucker you heard from? Yeah, I'm from Chernobyl. Yeah. Yeah, you, you ain't heard it. All it takes is one. It was one from Chernobyl. <laughs> and that necessarily wasn't a bomb. That was, an that was just like an event. But this brings me back to Kanye and why you getting to sit your ass down. The reason with Kanye is you know all of this is happening, but you feel. See, I don't think he does. Hold on. But you feel you are the voice of generation. You are whatever. You got your finger on the pulse. What's happening right now? And you feel you distancing yourself from politics. That is the band aid we needed. Goddamn, Kanye, you're doing us a service. Oh, Kanye, thank you so much. You gonna work on? Po no, yet yeah, you were used, but not for the reasons you think. You not all right, Kanye? And not this is coming from a Kanye fan. And it hurts me to say this. You're not as dope as you think you are. No, he's not. But I do like him. I love Kanye. He's not as... I'll be the first one to say, if Kanye gave me tickets to the Wyoming bullshit... i go. With the fact, I would go. But, he's but I'm not looking at... Yay! If it comes down between Kanye or... An, an, there's a an thing... Jay, I'll probably go to Jay. Yeah. Kanye, there's a, there's a world bigger it down between than Kanye you. and Fantasia, I might... Alright, alright, alright. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I might go to Fantasia. Kanye. Kanye and Bay. I might. Oh, go oh, Bay. I'm totally going to Beyonce. I might go to Bay. You get that off your mind. Kanye, Kanye and Uncle Charlie. I might go to Uncle Charlie. I'm going to Uncle Charlie. I'll tell you <laughs> that. I, I'll tell you that. We ain't the only nigga still living. Hold on, wait. Are we talking concert? 
Kanye as a guest on his podcast. And I may be burning the bridge with saying this. On your podcast, Kanye West. Uh huh. Kendrick Lamar. Mmm. God, that's hard. Because Kendrick Lamar spit that 5 2 now. He do. Shit. I'm going Kendrick Lamar. I know you would. I'm sorry. I know you would. It's hard. Like, you hit me and with nigga, that. you better break now, Erica. Now, that may change my mind. And I'm stretch pants. I may change my mind. And whatever. Kanye, man, sit your ass down. Last, <laughs> sit your ass down. Go to my man, Emil. Vata Bond. Now, this is hard. This is to sit your ass down because it, it has to be. For those who don't know who Emil Vata Bond is. Emil Vata Bond is like. He's a Dutch entrepreneur. He's done a lot for the community. He's trying to do some big things. But Emil Rontabai is 69 years old. He has went to court this week and says he will file a court case to identify as a 45-year-old man. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> so you want these motherfuckers? You want everybody to forget time works? I wouldn't give him such a That's funny. So because hold on, wait, and I'm giving you the fast version because he got himself in the shape, and he says my body is the one of a 45 year old. So you need to shave 20 years off of who I am right now, man. Admit. Mm. I don't know how to do it. He classifies himself as a young god. He's a self-help guru. Emil, such your ass down, man. Look, time, time is no man. Look, look, even if I rock, if, I, if I'm rocking at 69, I'm just the greatest 69-year-old man. The reason being, you can't stop, you can't, I need to take. Twenty years of knowledge away from you if you gon if you gonna talk if you don't talk that shit yeah I need to legally you ain't supposed to know that shit for twenty years so Emil man sit your ass down look this.